We're going to hear from Alfred Benedict from Ally Green Ammonia. Um, I've looked at Alfred's resume. I mean, he's been in the energy market his whole life. He's still a young man, probably for the last 35 years after. Uh, you know, he's, he's an engineer, he's built plants, he's, he's helped finance plants, uh, he's been an energy trader. But uh, I, um, you know, if you really think about it, Alfred's uh, really thought through how Australia, which is a country which really lives on exporting you know, raw materials, how to export the sun to Korea and Japan and other places, uh, creating green ammonia. Uh, and I, I personally met Alfred, and I really like this because, uh, you know, you meet people along the way who have passion about what they're doing. And uh, Alfred was met, meeting his mother. It was about 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning in Australia. And I had the opportunity to meet him. And he's standing in his mother's garage getting me excited about what him and his team are doing in Australia. So it's really my pleasure to uh, introduce Alfred and let him tell you about the great company he's building as well as the great project he's building. Alfred. Thank you. <laughs> nice to see you in person, Alfred. Morning, everyone. Um, we've been a long flight from Perth, continues for the last 40 hours, and the result was I lost the bag and end up on the shoes here. <laughs> yeah, I can have a meeting, I can go for a run. <laughs> so guys, thank you very much again. It's been a pleasure to be here and um, see you all, uh, all of you. Thanks to Sanjay and Andy and organizing all this trip in a very short notice. Um, the relationship with Plug started about, about a year ago when we were um, looking at uh, um, electrolyzer from different companies. There was Chinese, there was European, and finally, after two years of research, last year we, we finalized Plug going to be um, our electrolyzer supplier. So that, um, there's a lot of reason for behind it. I'll explain that, and it's very interesting ones. Maybe we are, you're listening from a plug side. Um, we are the end user. And when we look at, we look at five different manufacturers. And out of five, we pick plug. Not only the price, the key was purity of hydrogen. The only company who provide 99.9% .9 pure hydrogen. The rest was 99.1, so I will not mention the name, but that was a reason for us to coming to plug. So the project we are building in Australia is one of the biggest hydrogen green ammonia project. 4.75 gig of solar panel, 3,000 megawatt of electrolyzer. Thanks to plug, we are able to take that because there is no other manufacturer got that facility available at the at this time to build that scale and deliver within three years of period of construction. So that's um, another key reason to coming to plug. Of course, price is one of the key. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's helping us as well. Um, having said that, there was um, the price came to important factor. Our power was 2.6 cent per kilowatt. And hydrogen, we were trying to keep below $2.5 per kg. And we end up on $2.3, $2.30 kg of green hydrogen. And when we convert that numbers onto natural gas, end of the day, we're going to sell ammonia. So ammonia is gray, green, or blue. That doesn't make difference. We say it's green. But when it comes to market, it's only ammonia. People only pay for ammonia. They don't pay for green, gray, or blue. So we have to be competitive with the gray ammonia to sell the green ammonia. 
the only way possible if we have a comparative price of production of hydrogen. We are replacing natural gas with the green hydrogen. So for us, it's a gas. It's a green hydrogen gas or it's a natural gas. So we have to have a both pricing comparative to sell the ammonia, otherwise the project will not be possible, will not be feasible. So it's a 6.5 billion investment of our project. So a very important factor was to get the right electrolyzer, right size, right price, to keep the ammonia price right. So we are pretty much done. Today, hopefully, <laughs> we might be able to sign the, the deal um, with plug. Uh, so uh, that's, uh, that's a journey in last year and a half or so. And it's going to be continued for another four years of supply and construction. And yeah, so yeah, looking forward to it. And uh, definitely, the, we can see your plans. And I can see the light green ammonia will be there, <laughs> working together, completing this project. And definitely, uh, all the best with all your, all your targets. Um, with the help of a light green ammonia and our upcoming next projects, who knows, when the price is right and everything is good, we can do it more. Guys, thank you very much. Other partners you have in this program, because you've built an impressive list of partnerships. Yes, in our project? Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Thank you. Thanks, Andy. So, yeah, um, we've got um, uh, our um, ammonia plant is coming from Holder Topsu. Our um, uh, tech Technicast is our EPC contractor. Tata is our electrical design engineer. EFRI is our owner engineer for electrical side. We got um, a Tremo is our off-take buyer, 100% off-take buyer of the, of the green ammonia. Then we got uh, Stenner, SPG Stenner, building our ammonia tanks. Then we got um, NACAP, building our pipeline. So you got a list of companies, famous companies from the world joining us in this, this project to make this project successful. Uh, this is Australia's uh, one of the biggest projects right now. The many projects in the pipeline, uh, like different type of project where they're supplying power to Singapore and other projects. This is ammonia project. And we come from ammonia background. We are purely ammonia producer, run the plant in Australia, build the plant, operate for 10 years. So we know about ammonia. So for us, we just want to build the ammonia plant but we can't afford the gas, it was too expensive. And Australia, we get the gas and we sell it to Japan. <laughs> we don't do anything with it. <laughs> we convert to LNG and sell to Japan. So when we start building and plan this one, we had a plan to go green, just to replace the gas, find our own gas. If we can't find natural gas, get the green hydrogen. That's all the plan was. So we had to find the cheapest way to get the production. Now, and three gigawatt of electrolyzer is a huge job. It's not been done before. And when we decided we're gonna build that, so um, the shipment arrival and then operation for the next 45 years, um, their maintenance project program, their replacement program, there's a huge list of things which we work with plug to work next coming 45 years. They're gonna be keep supplying all the stacks changing, replacement, repair work, maintenance work, five years, initial five years, operation maintenance contract. It's a quite a lot, it's a relationship which goes long way. And that make this project much more successful to having the right partners. So yeah, thank you Andy, that was really important. So yeah, um, the price of hydrogen, whatever the world is hoping for and thinking, it can be much better and cheaper if you have a right team, expert who understand the industry and do things by their own, not depending on others who put 20%, 30%, 40% contingency on each and every item 
and make the project so expensive that it will not be feasible. So that was the biggest difference. We'd done everything with our own team, and then we went to the engineering company to, to verify and stamp to make this project uh, in the right price. So by the way, our ammonia price, green ammonia price, is the same price as a gray. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Alfred. It's a pleasure.